Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Judy here with My Life as Geek Eye. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my recent favorites. This isn't limited to just makeup products. This is just basically sharing with you the products, the clothing, the everything that I have been enjoying in the recent months. This isn't specifically just August favorites because it's really only the mid-August when I'm filming this. So this is all recent favorites that I've sort of discovered in the last few months. But for the sake of this video getting actually discovered, I have titled it August Favorites. And without further ado, let's just jump straight into this video. The first thing that I'm going to be sharing with you today is this hoodie. I got this hoodie almost a month ago and it has been an absolute life saver. It's winter here in Australia at the moment and if you live in the rural area like I do, it is incredibly cold and anyone in my inner circle or family will know that I absolutely despise the winter I hate being cold it makes me grumpy it makes me sad so having this hoodie makes me happy because it keeps me warm I wear it to bed I wear it here at home and actually full disclosure the reason why I'm sharing it first of all with you guys is because I want to put it on because I'm so cold right now so now that I've shared it I can put it on and work for the rest of the video. Now, Balto Fitness is the dance fitness class that I have been going to for the last several months, actually since the beginning of the year. And I also did a vlog about it in one of my previous videos, which I'll link up here, here, I think, here. <laughs> And uh, you guys can go watch that vlog if you're interested. And that is how I stay fit. I don't go to the gym or any of that sort of thing. I just do dance for fitness. And that's what this class is all about. My friend runs this class and I like to go support her. So I also bought a hoodie, which I'm glad I did because it is so, so freaking warm. And I love it. Moving on. Now the next item I'm going to share is also clothing, but it's not one specific kind of clothing. It's more of a clothing store. Now I don't know if Tempt is worldwide, it wouldn't surprise me if it, if it were or if it's the same company under a different name, you know, somewhere else in the world. But anyway, I like this clothing shop because they constantly have sales, for one. Um, I am a absolute tight ass when it comes to money. Well, I wouldn't say tight ass, I'd just say I'm good with budgeting money. And I like to change my wardrobe periodically and just, you know, have new clothes all the time. So for me personally, I don't mind when I spend $5 on the top wear it about 10 times and then it sort of starts to peel or fall apart or break or fade and then I just get rid of it and then get another $5 top that'll be good for the next 10 wears. For me, basically that's what I find Tempt to be a clothing store that is good for, if you know what I mean. They have some better quality clothing if you want to spend like a lot of money on it. A coat or a jacket, they have some really great stuff. But for me, I like to change my tops, especially for YouTube videos now that I'm filming a fair bit. Like maybe for example, I'll film five videos in a day and I'll need a different outfit for each video because you know, you don't want to look the same in every video even if I film it on the same day. So I like to have different tops that I can swap in between. And not only that, I now work in a place where I really like it. You can wear like more casual surf clothing, not so much casual, but. You're not forced to wear a, like a, a collared shirt with like white aprons and whatever with a logo on the shirt anyway it's pretty laid back it's pretty casual and there's not really any uniform so I like that I can wear different tops to work each day so I'm just gonna quickly run through these tops none of these tops are specifically a favorite of mine I just like the clothing store in general now I know I said in my money saving video that I find a lot of my clothes at op shops but honestly the price of what you can get some of these clothing items for would be op shop prices because you know five dollars six dollars you could find some tops at the op shop you know for that price and these ones from Tempt are brand new so here's a couple really cute tops that I like I tend to go for the darker sort of tops than lighter ones I like floral polka dot stripes these are inside out because I've already worn them to work and wash them so here's another really cute top you can't really see the shape and the cut of a lot of these tops because I mean obviously I'm not wearing them but I'm sure you'll see a lot of these tops in past or future videos this shop tempt is also really great for those young people who can't afford to spend a lot of money on clothing and still want to look, you know, fashionable and hip. There are a lot of clothes at tempt that are trendy and are hip that you can have a whole outfit that looks really freaking good and look like you spent a whole lot of money on it, but you really didn't. So here's another one. 
this is one of those tops that has like the continuing bodice into the sleeves. It's a little baggy, have a little bit of air under there. If you've seen my video channel trailer, you would have seen me wearing this top here. It's really cute. This one I haven't worn yet. It's still got the tags on it. I like the big floral. This would be really pretty with a black pencil cut skirt. And I have a whole lot more, but I'm not really gonna show them to you because I mean like, who cares? Who cares? That's my sort of like, not really clothing haul, but that's my recent clothing shop that I've been buying clothes from. Okay, so before I go any further, I wanna share this one thing that I have absolutely been loving. I'm gonna share with you my ring light. I'm gonna show you how I've set up my ring light, and this is also a recent favorite of mine because it has completely changed my lighting game. Who would have thought that something so simple as lighting could make a whole difference in videos, but anyway. This is my ring light. Let me step back a bit so you can see. So this is my ring light, and I've got it sitting on the bed there because I haven't got any space, but yeah, that's my ring light. It is now absolutely 101% a favorite of mine. I just love it. It really helps also when I'm taking Instagram photos. I'm taking product layout photos for my Instagram. It's just so great to have this ring light. I'm so glad I bought it. Absolutely love it. Wish I had a bit more space for my setup, but that's okay. I'm making it work. Now the next thing I want to share with you is a Bath and Body Works candle. This one is their aromatherapy stress relief and anti-stress candle. It's got eucalyptus, spearmint, and essential oils, and all that great stuff, and it smells absolutely amazing. It makes the house smell so good and just relaxing and smell like a spa or something. And it's really great for drawing out the bad odors in the house, you know, like when you're cooking or you have hanging washing up. That because it's so cold, it takes so long to dry, and then it starts to smell, then you have to wash them all over again, then you have to hang them up again, anyway. It's a vicious cycle. So it's great to have this candle in the house to get rid of any bad smells, odors, and things like that. The only gripe I have with these Bath & Body Works candles is that if you can see, I'm all the way down through this candle. This won't burn anymore. The wicks are completely gone. This won't even light anymore. And there's still a fair bit of wax down the bottom. See? See that? These candles aren't cheap either. I think these retail for $16.95 in the shops. I'm, I'm guessing to buy them online and get them shipped would be a hell of a lot more expensive because they are really heavy. They are quite big. Um, so yeah, the only gripe I have about these is that they burn extremely quickly. I've got one candle going which I started at the beginning of the week. It's now Sunday. I started it last Sunday and it's like down here already. So the only thing I don't like is that they're expensive. They burn really quickly, but I do love the fact that they smell so good. So I'm gonna have to shop the sales. I'll go online and see if there are any sales because I really want to get more of these Bath & Body Work 3 Week candles. Now, the next thing you probably might find a little bit overboard, but a little bit of a backstory. When my husband and I went up to Queensland earlier this year for our honeymoon slash family in law vacation catch up, his parents live up in Queensland and we stayed with them for two weeks or so. And it was just so good to stay with them. I love going up to Queensland. I love my in laws. It's great. Anyway, so when we went up there, my mother in law had this liquid hand wash next to her kitchen sink. And one night we were having dinner. I went and washed my hands and I was sitting outside, you know, having a chat with everybody. And I said to my sister in law, I said, What perfume are you smelling? It smells really good. And I could only briefly smell it for a moment and then, you know, go away and then I would smell it again. And then she goes, oh, I'm not really wearing any perfume right now. And then I realized that it was my hands. When I was like talking or whatever, I would smell my hands. And then so I went inside and I went and checked out what the soap that my mother-in-law had next to her sink. So this one is the Palm Olive Oil Infusions Liquid Hand Wash. And this one is Jasmine with Avocado Oil. Now this one smells so good. I know describing smells over camera, YouTube, film, whatever, is almost pointless because I mean, you're watching, you're not smelling. And, but I'm telling you guys, this one smells amazing. It's got avocado oil for one. So when you wash your hands, it seeps into your hands and then it smells clean, it smells beautiful, and then the smell just lingers on your hands. Even our hand towels in the bathroom, I change them periodically, but even the hand towels smell like soap because that's what we wash our hands with. And so I was so obsessed 
with the hand wash that I went and bought. I went and bought the body moisturizer and the body wash as well. So that's how much I love this scent. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna keep on using it until either my skin breaks out from the fragrance or whatever, but I really love it. My husband loves it. It's great. So that's that. Next product is something that I've had for a little while, but because I had so many perfumes, this is one that was sort of like left behind that I didn't end up using. But because I have so many, I was determined to use up one fragrance and then move on to the next one and try and remember to actually apply it every day. So this one is the Giorgio Armani Perfume in C. This one smells so good. I'm gonna have to come up with a better description than so good. But this one, I'm gonna find the notes for you. Okay, so here's a better description than really good. This perfectly balanced blend of immediately noticeable top notes include white cedar wood and Italian blackberries. As these notes fade, the middle notes may be heard more prominently, revealing sweet nectar, freesia, may rose, and the warmth of cases. Now, in less perfumey terms of description, I would describe this perfume as an extremely sexy, confident woman who doesn't give a care in the world of what other people think about her. And it just smells very sophisticated and strong. It's not a light, sweet, girly sort of fragrance. It's more of a strong, mmm, sort of fragrance. <laughs> It's a very confident smell, if that makes any sense. Oh, that's the word. It's a very mature scent. It's a fragrance that a mature lady could carry very well. A mature woman who dresses herself well, um, I'm wearing a hoodie right now, but, <laughs> and who carries herself with confidence, elegance, and grace. That's what Giorgio Armani C smells like. And this is what I have been wearing for the last month and the wear of this one is incredibly long. I can still smell it on myself by the end of the day. I can smell it on my clothes. And I also love the way that this fragrance matures on my skin. I know fragrance will smell differently on different people because of your body chemistry, but this one, it just lingers and it smells very beautiful and very sweet. The next favorite is something that you would have seen in my videos if you've watched any of them. This one is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter by Face Studio. This is in the shade Molten Gold, and I think this is the only shade that Maybelline Australia has come out with. I know there are whole other shades, because I've watched Tati on Glam Life Guru talk about hers, and it's more of a pink one. I think it's called Rose Gold or something, but everywhere I look here in Australia, Priceline, Target, Kmart, Woolworths, everywhere that stocks L'Oreal, I don't think Kmart stocks L'Oreal. Anyway, everywhere that stocks L'Oreal only has the molten gold shade. As you can see, it's absolutely well loved. This one is a beautiful highlight. That's what I'm wearing on my face today and most days. It's so smooth and creamy. It feels almost wet, but it's not, if you know what I mean. It's a very finely milled highlighter that just applies so beautifully on the skin. So if you have a chance to go pick up this Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highliner, definitely go check it out. It is absolutely beautiful, especially, especially for you darker skin tone girls. This would probably show up too dark on you white people. I don't mean to be rude. It would definitely show up darker on the lighter skinned people, to be politically correct. But this would be absolutely beautiful on people with a medium to dark skin tone, like myself. Okay, so my next favorite is, well, my favorite thing in general for skincare is, number one, vitamin C. It is so good for your skin, like you would not believe. Like, don't underestimate the power of applying lemon to your face. I'm not, I'm not joking. Try it. It removes blemishes, it brightens the skin. Like why else did you think that they used lemon back in the day to bleach their whitey nighties or something and hang them out in the sun? Because it's vitamin C. Vitamin C will lighten and brighten your skin. So this one is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Vitamin C Day Serum. This one has 15% ascorbic acid, which in other words is vitamin C. 
Now unfortunately, Drunk Elephant is a little bit more of a pricier brand. In fact, this 30ml bottle is $116. I know it's expensive, but you really only need to use a pump of this not even every day, probably every other day. Another really good thing about Drunk Elephant products is that one, one day I was finished with one of the, these pump style bottles and when you open it up and pull it out, the pump is designed in the way that whenever you press down, something inside the device goes down a little further. So by the time it's finished, the, the little thing, the lever that you press goes down. So you have used every single little bit of the product in the bottle. You know you're not wasting any product. That's a little random thing I know about Drunk Elephant because I pulled the packaging apart for to have a look and see what style pump it was on the inside. So you know you're using every single bit of the product. It says on the Mecca website, say goodbye to dull, lifeless skin and years of sun damage to this potent serum. So it's very strong. You can use it on its own or you can mix it in with your moisturizer. Formulated with vitamin C, a powerful antioxidant complex, essential nutrients, fruit enzymes, a hyaluronic cross polymer and anti-aging chronopeptide to reveal radiant even skin. Promotes collagen synthesis, which means rebuilds the skin from the inside, encourages cell renewal, refines skin tone, and infuses hydration for a firm, even complexion beaming with luminosity. So basically, in non-technical terms, it brightens your skin, is an anti-aging product, renews their skin from within, and boosts collagen and all the good stuff. In short, it's really good for your skin. It has all natural ingredients and is fragrance free. It says this formulation has a reservoir effect, which means it will stay active on your skin for up to 72 hours and cannot be washed or rubbed off. So your skin absorbs it and it stays there and it works its magic. So if you are wanting to splurge a little bit on skincare, I would say definitely go check out the Drunk Elephant C from a Day Serum, if not the whole entire line. I have several Drunk Elephant products here. If you guys want to see a video on full Drunk Elephant products, I haven't got all of them, but if you want to see a video on the products that I do have, definitely let me know in the comments down below and I will go in depth into these products and let you know what these products are about before you want to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on these skincare products. I don't want to pump too much and waste it. As you can see, it's more of an orange serum. When you apply it, it's not oily and dries down to almost sticky consistency. You probably can't see it on camera, but it's absolutely just soaked into the skin. It's a little bit sticky, but after time, the stickiness goes away and it just soaks right into the skin. It doesn't smell very nice. That's one of the downsides, but after you've applied it, the smell goes away and then it doesn't bother me at all. So that's that. Another vitamin C product is this Ofra Vitamin C Cream. It doesn't say a whole lot about the product on the packaging, so I'm going to go onto the Ofra Cosmetics website and read what it's all about for you. This one I got in a little gift baggie with the last Ofra Cosmetics haul that I did. If you haven't seen yet, also my makeup video haul, I will leave that linked up here and in the description box down below if you wanna go check it out. So obviously it was sent to me as like a little sample, a little tester, but I've already used all of it up and I love it so much. The way it applies to my skin, the way it soaks in, it has the same properties as this serum does, but it's also on top of that a moisturizer. And I was so impressed with how this performed that I want to go and buy the full size one, which is 39 US dollars on, it says on the Oprah Cosmetics website. <laughs> the description of this vitamin C cream basically on the website says more vitamins, more moisture. Vitamin C cream delights your skin with moisture and anti-aging effects. This vitamin C enriched cream is perfect for daytime use because of its natural sun protection while promoting younger, healthier, and more radiant skin. So basically everything that um, this description was just in more layman and understandable terms. Next time I do an Ofra haul, I'm definitely gonna go and buy a full size of this vitamin C cream because it's the bomb. Okay, we're getting through these guys, we're getting through them. The last thing I wanna share has been out for a little while already. This one is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. It's a bit of a mouthful in a tiny package and it's so gorgeous. This one is in the shade Diamond Dust and I like this one just to apply in the inner corners of the eye or even on the entire lid. But if you want just a little bit of an extra little 
pick-me-up for your makeup look. Just a little bit of this on the inner corner and it just applies so beautifully. I have found that a lot of other glitter products irritate my eyes or they really burn my skin, but the Stila Magnificent Metals don't. I've tried the Urban Decay liquid eyeliners and those just burn the absolute crap out of my eyes. Just to have them anywhere near my eyes just irritated my eyes so much. I had a really bad makeup day the day I tried those Urban Decay Metals. Oh, it was bad. But the Stila liquid eyeshadows are so good. I'm actually going to apply a little bit of it to my inner corner right now just to show you how good they are. I'll show you a little swatch of this because it's so gorgeous. I have about seven of these shades and I really want to go and get more but these ones retail for $33. You can get them for $33 on the Mecca website and I'm not really keen on spending that much on a makeup product that I don't think I will use very often. I do love this line but $33, I'll just go and buy the BH Cosmetics Eye Lights instead. But look at that glitter though. Ugh. That makes me so happy. This Diamond Dust one has a whole lot of different multicolored flecks of glitter in it. It's not just silver, it's silver mixed in with a whole lot of different flecks of color in it. So pretty. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. We got through it. If you do enjoy these type of videos, please let me know so I can optimize my filming time for you guys so I can film videos that I know you guys want to see. I would love to know what your recent favorites are. I'll leave them all in the comments down below. Let's get connected. Let's have a whole beauty community and clothing and whatever lovers down there. Let's all get connected. Let's start a conversation. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up definitely subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Which I will link one of... I've watched Tati on Glam and Gore. Not Glam and Gore. But these Stilla... Stilla. Oh, oh, oh. My ring light's falling on me. UV damage promote promotes collagen since the